Hey everybody, coming at you from out in my shop. Uh, today's topic is going to be very, very fun. It's something that's always interested me and I've always wondered about it. And that is, how powerful are these little tea candles? Now when people are hiking and camping and out and they want to boil water or, you know, even heat water for like instant coffee or tea or oatmeal or if they want to actually boil water for purifying it or you know even using a percolator you usually have a campfire sometimes an alcohol stove sometimes a ISO Pro backpacker stove but sometimes there's a burn ban uh, sometimes everything's dry sometimes everything's soaking wet and you can't have a fire sometimes you're under a tarp and you want to have a fire but it can't be real big so I've always wondered about the power of these little tea candles because they're cheap and they're lightweight and even in like an urban survival situation emergency situation how good are these so we're going to experiment with these and see what they can do and how long it takes for them to do it all right so let's get over here to the table and get started so most people have a campfire if you can't have a campfire or a burn ban or whatever people will carry these lightweight backpacker stoves which is great all right, but you got to have the little gas can. Some people carry these little alcohol stoves, like that right there. But, little tea candles. How good are they? How powerful are they? We're going to find out. I'm going to talk about the temperatures of the water and what you're doing with them. This is a brand new unused candle. This candle, some of the wax has gone away. This is about an hour and a half of use. So, I would say these things last about two to three hours. These things will fall out of the little aluminum cups here, but once you've used them, the wax melts and separates and sticks in. I got a bag of 30, 30 tea light candles, and they were only $1.99 from Big Lots. So that's a good deal if these candles are actually efficient. I'm sure they're going to take a while. Around Halloween, you can get these bigger candles that go inside pumpkins. I think I got these marked down. They were originally $2.99 from the Christmas tree shops in Kennesaw, but they were half price after Halloween. So these being bigger will last considerably a lot longer. But the wick themselves probably puts off the same BTUs. Now as far as using these, you can't use a stand like this. I don't believe it. The best way of using these is just take a like a pie pan and lay a grating over it, just like that. And we're going to have a couple of different setups. We're going to try a couple of different things because if you're making instant coffee or if you're making oatmeal, all right, if you're making instant coffee or if you're making oatmeal, you probably want to hit around, I think, I guess 130 degrees maybe. But if you're actually trying to boil water, you're going to want to hit at like 120. Now, if you're just boiling water, all right, the BTUs it takes to boil water is going to be a certain amount. If you're actually using a percolator, not only are you boiling the water, but you're wanting to push the water up this tube and over into here. So that's going to take some more candles, I figure. And we're going to try to decide on what to do with them. And just, just while we're at it, just for laughs, I'm going to try this mocha pot. And what that is, is it's a pressurized vessel. It's got a little valve here that blows off in case the steam builds up too much. But generally, this will heat up the water and push it up the little stem so the coffee's in here. We're going to set this up too. Let's do these things one at a time. And then I'm going to write down, I have a temperature gauge here, and then I'm going to write down what time I put it on and how long it takes for it to do what it's going to do. All right, so let's start out with the first one, which will just be uh, heat and water. So we have a pie pan. Now, not only will this hold up the grill and allow the tea candle to be away from the surface of the, your typical backpacker pot, but I feel like the heat... The wind won't be coming from the side if you're outdoors and blowing the, the heat away that you'll actually be trapping the heat in here and forcing the heat to come up. So what we're going to do, 
uh, <clears throat> there's 30 in a pack. So let's do, I don't know, let's do four. Let's, let's try four of them. All right. Because I just, I want to see the power of these, and I don't know what the fifth one will do. Uh, maybe, nah, let's do five. There's 30 in a pack, and let's say that if you did this process, let's say that if you did this process, you would wind up with, uh, you know, four burns. Uh, no, wait a minute. Six burns. I don't know why I'm having a, a, a brain fog. <laughs> I just I was I was thinking about so many other things. Now you want to move this around to where the wicks aren't hitting the stainless steel bars because you want to get full benefit of the flame. All right, so I'm going to kind of move these things around to where right there, perfect. Okay, we have the full benefit of the flame. So let's light this off. Uh, maybe I gotta move this thing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the starting temperature and then I'm going to check, I'm gonna write down the time. And generally I would say that if you wanted to make a cup of coffee you would, or tea, you would use one cup, but that would be a little bit too easy for this. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, now look at that. Did you see how tall that flame was when it started out? Look, they're starting to die down a little bit now. I wonder if you can see if we can zoom in on those flames. I'll let them get established. Now, I would say, I would say that in general, most people would be like one cup of water for coffee or tea and one cup, cup for oatmeal or grits or whatever uh, or two people having coffee now that is about sitting flat that's about an inch of water so let's go ahead and make it hard on the candles by using two cups so we're going to cover it up <clears throat> a lot of times people will complain because on these videos I don't cover it up but I'm gonna cover it up this time Sometimes I leave it uncovered so I can see what it's doing, but I'm going to cover it up this time. Let's see what we're starting out with. This is an old Sears Craftsman thermometer. <laughs> I think it'll actually show up on camera. The modern ones won't. So let's stick this in here. And it is 80, 85. It's about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It's jumping around between 84 and 85. So let's go with 85 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to look on my cell phone. It's 1022. 1022. I'm going to lay this right here. I'm going to put this right here. And then we're going to move on to the next process. Which will be the percolator. For the percolator... Not only does it have to make the water boil, but it has to pressurize it and push it up the percolator stem into the percolator basket. So I'm going to use six tea candles for this one. Let's see. And I'm going to use the same amount I'm going to use. Let's put in two cups of water. I'll go ahead and throw the temperature gauge in here. So that you'll see no funny stuff. But I'm not starting out with it extra hot. Look, that's not even getting up to 85. That's only 82. Because I guess this percolator body is kind of cold. Alright, so we have two cups of water in there. And let's take our basket. Go ahead and put it on. Let's put two scoops of the French Quarter, two level scoops. All right. Put on the mat and 
put on that. Now, I line this up to where the flames are not hitting the stainless steel. And let's see. Okay. All of the flames are under the pot. There's no reason to write the temperature down by this because we're not going to check the temperature. If it start per starts percolating in this top glass here, then we're good to go. Alright, so it'll be 1026. The perk started at 1026 a.m. Alright, so let's scoot this back a little bit. I'll put it right there. Alright, now let's move on to the next one which is going to be a mocha pot. This is called a mocha pot. They have a brand name that's made in uh, Italy. But there's, a, there's a bunch of cheap knockoffs uh, that are on Amazon. I got this one at a bargain bin store for like two or three dollars. <laughs> but what it does is, see this little thing here? It's similar to a perk where it pushes it up like that. It's got like a tapered looking thing where it comes up through the top. But what it is is there's this little basket here with a screen and a screen and a funnel. And this right here is like a pressurized vessel. And when the water boils, it pushes it up this tube. And then it pushes it up that tube. And then you wind up with coffee here. Uh, this is a good item for solo backpackers. Uh, let's see. Because, but, because it only makes one... one one thing of coffee. Now, if I remember right, I think what you do is you pour it in up to the right to there. Right up to the, the little vent. Now, this is an actual pressure vessel, and it's got this little stem right here. And see, you have to leave it a little bit low because you have to have this capacity here. And I say I, did, I put too much in it. Let's pour a little bit of this out. I haven't got a lot of experience with this thing. Now see, this has less water, so we are going to use four candles. Let's put in one heaping thing of coffee. Because it's not that much. And then you cover it up with this thing. And then you want to screw it on. You want to make sure that thing's seated. I better screw it on with it like this. Then let's screw it on like this. Now, I don't know if this thing's going to work or not. At the bottom surface of this thing, it's not real wide, so it should be just enough to fit over the four. So, let's light these off. Some call that an espresso maker because it makes such strong coffee. And honestly, I think you could put a, you could put a very fine grind in there and make coffee really thick and syrupy. And then... You could dilute it, and two people might could drink out of that. Because that's a that's a pretty big place to put the the the, the coffee. All right, so I'm gonna center that up right there. Let them get a little bit established. Probably need to scoot it in a little bit. And let's set it. See the coffee's gonna come out here. Let's set it on there, and let's. Take a peek at my cell phone. 1031. Alright. Mocha pot 1031. Mocha pot 1031. Let's put that right in front of it. Now, before we get to the last little bitty funny fun experiment, let's take a look here. It is, let's see, at 10, 1022, so at 1032 will be 10 minutes. Let's see. There, there it is. It's, it's 10.32 now. 10.32 now. So in 10 minutes, let's see what the temperature has changed. A hundred and thirteen degrees in ten minutes. Whoop, rather why the other zone. <laughs> you could also do the old finger test. Nah, see that ain't hot enough at all for tea or coffee, but that's just ten minutes. It's not bad for tea candles.
Now let's get ready to set up the last one, which is just kind of a, I don't know if it'll work or not. It's kind of a, just a fun thing to do. <laughs> for fun, let's see what one candle will do for one cup of water. All right, let's say you're a hiker or a camper. And you're going to, this is like as minimalist as you can, you want to go. So let's get that one, one candle. Oh, in a minute I'm going to look up. In a minute I'm going to look up uh, BTUs. I don't know if you can see that burning or not. In a minute I'm going to look at BTUs of what these candles are. Because the, the British Thermal Unit is a measure of heat. Of <clears throat> the amount of heat it takes. Something to do with elevation and and a capacity of water. There's a formula for it. So let's pour this in here and act like some of here. No, that's about a half a cup. See, I, this is just a fun thing here because I, I really don't think it's going to, there's no way it's going to boil. Absolutely no way. I don't see it happening. But maybe Maybe, look in there see how high it is, maybe it will, because it's such a small contained area and a small amount, and I'm going to have a lid over it, maybe it'll hit 130 degrees and you can make tea with it, tea or, you know, tea or maybe instant coffee. Alright, we're at 80... That's probably like 82 degrees like the others. All right, now the one cup will be 1035. All right. A single 1035. Okay, the little single cup, 1035. All right. Now I'm going to come back. 1022, 1032, 1042. All right, at 1042, we're going to come down here. We're going to check this other one. And we're going to see what the temperature of that water is down on the end at 1042. Because that'll be 20 minutes on five candles. Ah, oh, we're looking good. Look at that. Look at that. 142. You can see a little steam coming off of it. 20 minutes, 140 from four. Put a finger. Woo. Oh, now see, that is perfect. For instant coffee or probably for steeping a tea bag because you don't want boiling water on it spectacular 144 in 20 minutes off of five candles now let's look let's see what 30 minutes will do maybe 30 minutes will make it boil which would be pretty neat let me back this thing back up while we're here I'm not going to open these up because they're not doing anything. But it's starting to get hot. Oh, that's starting to get hot. Let's take a peek at this while we're looking. See, not even. I, I don't think that's changed any. 1035. How about, let's see, is it 1045 yet? 1044. Yeah, close. Let's see if it's done anything. Everything was pretty much 82 minutes. Everything was pretty much 82. Is the candle still going? Yeah, that one little candle still going. Mm. 90 degrees. After 10 minutes, got to remember though, it's just one candle and I had five candles in the other one. All right, so 32, 42, 10.52, I'll cut you back on and we're going to check that other one down there. Now, I was kind of disappointed in what this one's doing, so I think what I'm going to do, this is a little bit taller, the flame is a little further away. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put a nut underneath 
I'm gonna put a nut underneath the candle to lift the flame up a little higher. See, it's a little higher now. It's going to be almost touching the bottom because it really wasn't doing much. So we're not really concerned with the time on this one, on how long it's been there. It's more of a concern of can one candle warm a cup of water? That's more of what we're concerned with. While we're waiting, I looked on the Google and it says uh, a single tea candle produces anywhere from 75 to 85 BTUs, British Thermal Units. One tea candle produces around 30 watts of heat, which means that you need at least 20 to 30 tea candles <clears throat> to heat a very small room and replace them every three to four hours. So they're saying these things last three to four hours. So, percolator. Ooh, it's getting hot. All right, two more minutes, and then we're going to check the temperature on this one. 10.52. It is 30 minutes that we have been on five candles. So let's take a peek. Ooh, look at that steam come off. Now water boils at 212. So let's have a look. A hundred and sixty-six. Not quite boiling. One hundred sixty-seven. All right, that's after thirty minutes on five candles. You got one hundred sixty-seven. That's more than enough. Four. That is more than enough for instant coffee or, or tea. We'll check back in another ten minutes. It'll be uh, forty minutes on five candles. Look right here at these two. They're not doing anything yet. That's hot. Now I can see in the top of this, the top of this perk right here, we're starting to get a little bit of moisture. So it's something's happening here. Now remember, this had six candles and this had four candles. But like I say, this is a pressurized vessel here. This, the percolator has to push the, the water up through the tube and dribble through the grounds, but this has to actually push it through the grounds. This just dribbles on top of the grounds, but this is pressurized. So we'll see what four candles does. The bottom is very hot. The top's starting to get hot. Let me open it up and take a peek inside. Nope, nothing's coming out the top. We'll check it. In a little while. It's 10.31 at 11.01. It's 10.59. It's been 28 minutes on the mocha pot. Nothing's happening on the percolator over here. But something's happening here. Now, the percolator, the percolator has six candles. And there's a little bit of moisture coming up here in the top. This only has, the mocha pot only has four candles. And there's some steam coming out here. Now I want to do something real quick right here. Let's zoom in. I'm just going to open this for just a second, see if anything's coming out yet. Nope, nothing's coming out yet. Wait a minute. That may be the sound of it coming out. But it's doing something. It's doing something. Let's see if it's a. Uh, I say 11.02. It's 11. So in one minute, this will be 30 minutes on this thing. So this is the, none of this is a fast process. So I'll, I'll, we're going to move you back down here so it'll be 40 minutes on the bucket of water right down here on the end. All right, it's 11.02. So it's been 40 minutes on five candles. Now that right there is very cold because this is starting to bubble now. Let's check this one. Now I figured up these candles are six cents each. If these things, depending on if it, this has only been 40 minutes, if this will boil water in one hour, that means you can get three to four bowls out of these candles. If we can get it to 212.
I like to get it there in under an hour. Whoo, 190. Hundred ninety degrees. So if we get twenty two more degrees in in twenty minutes, that'll be one hour. If these last three to four hours you could get three three to four bowls out of these things. I think there was five candles under here. So that'd be <laughs> that'd be thirty cents per. Now let's take a look at this. He's up here to the top. Now the percolator over here is starting to make a little bit of noise, but there's nothing coming up. I want to see if there's some coffee actually brewing in this one now. So let's have a look. Whoop! Nothing yet. We'll keep it going. I would say for these things being tea candles, that if it, if they do anything in under an hour, then that is wonderful. Oh wait, let's check this right here real quick. After I've moved the uh, yeah, it's a little warmer. You got to remember, though, I I never realized it. It it was thirty watts. They said one one candle equals thirty two watts. Thirty watts. Now think of a light bulb. The heat put off of it. If you reach up and grab a hundred watt bulb, it's going to burn you. But if you reach up, you may or may not can hold on to a forty watt bulb. So we're up to. 110. 110. So let's say this way. For six cents, <laughs> for six cents, one tea candle for six cents, let's be conservative and say that that one tea candle could boil, could warm up three cups for tea or instant coffee. So that'd be two cents spent to heat this up. <laughs> Alright, so let's let it continue to go and see how hot it is. 11.06, it's been 30 minutes on the percolator. And we got some steam coming out over here. And there's a little bit of condensation starting to bubble up in the park. So it's been 30 minutes on five candles, but you gotta remember this was two cups of water we're trying to percolate. Flame's still going good. Now over here I find it odd. This one candle, I don't know what the deal is, but all around the rim of the mocha pot staying clean except for this one, one candle here is smoking it up. So I'm going to turn this. Look at that, the soot even came off of it. I'm going to turn that and I'm going to see if that candle soots up this side or if it's got something to do with this vent. See that soot right over here? I don't understand that. Let's take a peek and see if anything's coming out. Nothing yet. Just a bunch of stain. Hopefully they'll start pushing it up soon. Hey, that percolator cleared up. It ain't got a bunch of condensate in it now. I wonder why. Oh! I just saw a bubble. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. There it goes. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Right, let's watch that again. Let me, let me zoom in on there. Let's see if we can see the first bubble. What time is it? Do you see it? All right. Lebmo 8. So that is 32. No. Oh, wait. I think it's 40, over a little over 40 minutes. Yeah, it's 42 minutes. No, 43 minutes. Yeah, 43 minutes. And we can see our first bubbles in the percolator. I got a feeling with these tea candles, what you're going to do is you're just going to light this thing off and then either take a nap or go fish or something <laughs> but remember that we're not trying to win a speed contest we're just trying to see if it's possible to do this look at that there you go you're bubbling 
Bull and bubble, toll and trouble. Rock on. It's 11 12. 50 minutes because we started at 10 22 and I hear some bubbling. Whoop, let's pull it off. Take a look. We have. Oh, it's getting hot. 50 minutes we have. Oh, 2.05. I feel confident. If it's 2.05, I feel confident Then in an hour it'll boil. 2.07, we just got to hit 2.12. I feel confident. I think it'll do it. That is so cool. All right. Let's ease over here and take a peek. Right, it's percolating, and it was percolating clear, and that's starting to get a little bit brown. So that's actually going to be drinkable coffee <laughs> off of six candles. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, this is so cool! I've always wondered about this stuff. Off of six candles, I wonder how this feels. Yeah, that pan's a little hot. A little hot. Two cups of water percolating, making coffee. Let's take a look over here. Let's open this up again and see. Nothing yet. It may just, you know what it may do? You know what I thought about? If these ain't hot enough, what they may do is they may just turn this into steam and push it up through the lid and just make it all all the water turn into steam rather than actually putting liquid through the grounds and coming out then I may just be putting coffee flavored steam out the top now this started at 1035 let me see what time it is now <clears throat> 11 14 in one minute it'll be 11 15 so that'll be what 40 minutes oh uh, let's see let's where's my thing at let's check it here now one one candle what are we doing Under 20, that's pretty close. In 40 minutes. That's pretty close. For, for me, 130 is 130 is is good enough for instant coffee. And I'm very I'm very, very surprised on this percolator perking like it is off of these. I didn't think it would. I thought that this mocha pot being pressurized would do its thing first. Especially because there's only like, there's a whole lot less water in there than in there. Alright, so in one hour, we're going to look at that. One hour total. 17. So Alright, so that would be 41 minutes. Let's take a peek here. Do I want to pour a little bit off? Oh, yeah! Look at that! Rock on! So I'm going to call that 41 minutes you can percolate off of six candles. That's spectacular. I think that's enough percolating right there. That is awesome. Any more than that's going to be too strong. Now let's take a look over here. Wait a minute. Here we are. Alright. Is it 11.22 yet? Nope. It's 11.18. Okay. So we're like four minutes away from an hour. But let's check it. Because I would like to boil water in under an hour. Oh, we are! Rock on! Look at that. That's got to be. That's a rolling boil. 
<laughs> Look at that. Come on, 212. Come on. Come on. If not, I got four. I have to throw the lid back on because I got four minutes left. Oh, 207. I'm going to be a little bit quicker. Let's put that back on. <clears throat> and at 1122. It's 1119. At 11.22. So we got three minutes. I'm going to yank that lid off and check it out. Let's see if we'll hit 212. We're at 1122. And we started at 1022. So it's been one, one hour. So let's take a peek. And did we did we do it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. 209. Come on. <laughs> You at home start cheering. Do like you would at a football game. Come on! Oh man! Two twelve supposed to be. It looked like it was rolling to me. Maybe that's why Sears went out of business. <laughs> oh. Well, we didn't hit two twelve. In one hour, bummer. I check it again in a little while. This stupid mocha pot here, it's not doing much of anything. Look, it's sitting up right below where the van is, so there's something going on there because I swapped it around. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> well, let's look inside and see if it's doing anything. I'm not even going to look at it at the time. Now look at that. Now see, that's weird. Here, give me a glove so I can hold on to it. <clears throat> it's just, there's really only surface area for four candles. Look, the water that's in it is water. It ain't even brown. It ain't even got no kind of coffee color. What kind of bummer is that? But we were successful here. I can't believe this thing. I can't believe it percolated coffee. That is, that's that's mind boggling. Mind boggling. I figured the water would boil before it would percolate coffee. So let's see, at 11.35, okay, we got 10 minutes. I'm gonna see what one hour, I've given up hope on the mocha pot. I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe it'll surprise me, I don't know. I don't think there's room for five candles. I may scoot. I may I may try to put a fifth candle in there and see what happens. But I ain't got much faith in this. One candle. I'm going to see what it does after one hour. But just for the heck of it, let's check it now. See if it's gotten to 130. 122, 125, 127. What? Ah, oh, 130. There you have it. 131. See, that is plenty good enough for instant coffee or steeping a tea bag. So that's that's pretty cool. Is it 1025? That'd be 50 minutes. Oh, look at that. It's 1025. So that was 50 minutes. At 50 minutes on one candle, you can make you a cup of tea. Maybe that'd be just enough time for a nap. Now, <clears throat> off camera, I'm going to go ahead. I got four candles under here now. I'm going to try to scoot it over, and I'm going to try to put a fifth candle. I'm going to try to put one in the middle and see if that does anything. It may not work because it may put the candles further out away from the sides, but let's try that because we know the perk works. And that water down there, you know, you may, I don't know if I'd trust purifying with it, but I don't know. We'll see if it hits 212 here in a little while. Right. And here, as I move this thing over, 
and I put a fifth candle in. So at this point, we're not even worried about the time. We just want to see if it's possible to use a mocha pot. It's definitely possible for the old percolator, and Nick has decided to join us. Give us a good a a o Nick. a o a o All right, let me pour you a little bit of coffee, and you can see you've never had you've never had tea candle coffee, have you? No, I haven't. Tea candle coffee. Mm -mm. Now this is very, very, very extremely strong. So let's just put a touch in here so that you can it'll weaken it up just a touch. And I think it might make it ready. Taste that and see what you think. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in the top of this to cool it off. Because that's a in double insulated cup. Alright. <laughs> Let's see if it's any good. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nick's in his pajamas. <laughs> yeah, I can't be seen on camera. He can't be on camera. <laughs> That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Alright, now what time is it? Let's see, this was 10.25, 20, 11, we're looking for uh, one more minute, be 11.30, 11.32, so that'd be an hour and 10 minutes. Yep. Right here. Right here. Let me look at it. <laughs> uh, 11.31, we're looking for 11.32, so that will be an hour, one hour and 10 minutes off of five candles, two cups of water. 11.31. Now when you take the lid off, it actually looks like it's a rolling bowl. But I only got like, I think it was 2.09. Oh, there it is. Look, 11.32. All right. So let's put this. Let's just do this. Oh! It's hot. Come on, 212. 207, 208, 209, 210. Oh. Oh. It's like waiting for the New Year countdown. That's right. 211. Oh, one degree away. <laughs> Come on, 212. Let's get this over here so that I can capture the you moment. You didn't get this excited when I graduated college. Yeah, I did. <laughs> 212, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think before it wasn't getting all the way up there because I was letting a lot of the lid, the, the, uh, the heat escape. Come on now, give me a degree. <laughs> well, you made it drop. Oh. <laughs> this, this lighter's kind of cold. Dang. Well, we had six candles over there under the percolator. We've only got five under here. So it's because the lid's open. Well, before when I opened it a little bit more, let's just say that you can't do it with five candles. You can get it plenty hot enough for oatmeal. Uh, plenty hot enough for oatmeal. Man. <laughs> All right, what are we waiting on? Using the lighter on it doesn't help. 11.35, we've got two more minutes, and then we're going to check the one cup and see what it'll do in an hour. 11.35, so it's been one hour on one tea candle. Okay. So, let's see what it's done. See, still, just one tea candle. I'm with the All right. Amazing. One tea candle. We are at. If it hit 140, that'd be great. We're not boiling it, but you can tell. There you go, 140. One hour, one tea candle. Let's zoom in a minute. 139. See, so I think it's dropping. It may be dropping because the lid's off. But one tea candle. Is six cents. 
So, as Cody Lundin would say, that's a cheap date. <laughs> I don't know why he says that. I don't think this mocha pot's going to work. The percolator had room for six candles because the base of it's wider and there was room for more flames. And I'm barely, barely, barely touching it with this, this thing. The, the coffee's not coming up. I'm going to let that go. That's been over an hour. I'll let that go another 20 minutes. And if it doesn't do anything, you know, that's, that's going to be that. Oh, while we're here, let's try this one more time. You think it's going to hit 212, Nick? Nah, don't do that. Here, you ready? You get, so make sure I'm getting this. You ready? What do you mean I can't use the lighter on it again? Because I'm sure you'll burn my hand. Come on now. Come on now. I think we can forget about one degree. That's all I'm asking. One degree is not much. That's why I guarantee you this will work with six candles. 211. Oh, come on. Make my day. Go ahead. Make my day. Look at that. It jumped back down to 210. Evidently, those candles don't like Clint Eastwood movies. I can't believe that. All right, I give up. Let's just call that. Let's call that. You got to have six candles if you want to boil it. And I would, I, I would actually say that four candles. I would actually say that four candles. Now, see how that's like a clear liquid. Yeah. See how that looks like a clear liquid. Once they've cooled off, they turn back white like that. But they still got a lot of, uh, still a lot of wax left in there. We're going to call it on that one. Uh, depending on what you want to do, use six candles, and I, I think you'll be successful on that. Uh, the percolator was definitely a success. We'll cut you on back in about 20 minutes to see if the mocha pot's willing to do anything. If not, I'm going to call it a failure. And if you just want instant coffee or tea, I'm going to call that a success for one candle. All right, me and Nick's going to drink coffee for a little bit, and then we'll cut you back on to finish up the video. <laughs> At this point, time's kind of irrelevant, but 12.01, 10.31. So that's an hour and a half I've been dealing with this, and I went from four candles to five candles to six candles to seven candles. I officially have seven candles under this piece of junk. <laughs> and I had five candles underneath the water that was one degree off of boiling. And uh, I think, I can't remember, it might have been six under the percolator. But anyway, let's, let's look and see how little is coming up now. Kind of gold colored. And I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't any water left in here. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I think there's some water in there. But I wouldn't be surprised if... Instead of this pushing water up through here quickly, it's slowly turning everything into steam. So this is a failure. If you're going to bring a mocha pot, you better bring either an alcohol stove or an isopro stove. So let's close this out. The And in conclusion, <clears throat> Don't underestimate tea candles. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm very, very, very extremely surprised. I'm very surprised at the percolating. Mm -mm. <sighs> Nothing like percolated coffee. Now, we used five candles, I think. can't remember now. I think it was five. Yeah, I think we used... No, it wasn't four. Yeah, it was five candles. We used four under the mocha pot. I'm not even going to talk about the mocha pot anymore. It was a complete failure. Uh... Five candles under the water brought it to within one degree of boiling. So I feel sure that six candles, I can guarantee you a boil out of six candles. Six candles percolated the coffee in under an hour, way under an hour. And we actually hit like 209, I think, in, in I think 50 minutes, I think. It was 209 and 50 minutes. So uh, the little thing off of one candle, the little cup of water off of one candle, hit 139 degrees, which is excellent. You wouldn't be able to purify water, but you can make tea. But 
Anyway, I hope you didn't find this boring. I thought it was very exciting because I've always wondered about these tea candles. People were bragging about them all the time. And uh, <clears throat> I just, I never thought to experiment with them. And uh, I found that bag in the basement. And I'm like, I got a whole bag of tea candles. <laughs> So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Y'all play around with tea candles and see what they can do. Uh, who knows, maybe one day I'll take a big pot and put 30 tea candles under it and see what happens. <laughs> so till then, hopefully uh, next time we'll be out and back out in the woods or we may be on the water when it starts cooling off. We're going to start rafting and kayaking again. Uh, till then, get out, uh, enjoy life, experiment, build gear, camp, love your family, and we shall see you in the next one.